People want to be part of something bigger than themselves. That's a beautiful thing. So cloud filmmaking is a term that me and my film studio call to this new way that we're making films. So we have created a film series called Let It Ripple, Mobile Films for Global Change. And we invite people from all over the world to collaborate with us. So the five principles of cloud filmmaking are use the cloud to make films in new ways. To make films about the qualities that connect us instead of the qualities that divide us to invite people to help you translate, to then give back out to the world free versions of the film. So it's like a call and response that you're receiving and you're also giving. And also, any new technology that comes out, how can you incorporate this into the cloud filmmaking experience to kind of push the edge of what we're able to do? What I love so much is, I don't think enough people talk about really, is when the cell phone put that button so you can film yourself. The fact that somebody can hold their cell phone and just film themselves and then send it to me, and then we edit it all together into something higher that's like distilling what the film subject's about. Like this last one is about the importance of engagement. So it's very exciting to kind of edit that into something that combines all that energy and emotion from all these different people into one film. And then to put that back out again. And it's been an experiment that's working beyond our wildest dreams and it's very exciting. People can um, find out about it on our site at letitripple.org. And uh, we're gonna make 16 of these cloud films over the course of five years. We did one Declaration of Interdependence, we did one on the importance of engaging in society. We have one about the brain. We're doing one on empathy, generosity, money, power, death, the whole gamut. People want to be part of something bigger than themselves. That's a beautiful thing. People want to make things. They want to collaborate. They want to participate. I mean, that's the thing. I really saw a need. There's so many nonprofits in the world doing such important work. They either have no media, or maybe they have not a well-made piece of media and I'm just like these are the people doing like this the work of humanity and they need good media to motivate their base to help further what they're doing can I make a film about the higher issue the highest issues of humanity and what connects is so high level that everyone would agree with what they're saying and you know it's working so it's it's great and it feels like it's really filling a need what we spend a lot of time working with nonprofits is their call to action. Because like figuring out what do you ask people to do, what's like the highest level to get people to engage with what you're doing, we will put their call to action, their URL, and their logo. It looks like it's their movie. And then they can use it for fundraising, on their website, at their events. I mean, it's been used in so many different ways. So then it's furthering their work, which is, as we say, letting it ripple. The way that I feel about ownership over the internet is it's definitely changing the way we think about what we have access to and what we have ownership of and what is remixing and mashing up and what does that mean. So my filmmaking style is very much where I am using lots of different elements of archival and stock and we create original animation. I pay for all of it. I have a huge licensing line item in my budget. I, I'm very respectful that somebody else shot that, spent time, energy, resources to create it and I want to pay them for it. On the other hand, I love that students are able to like, pull stuff off YouTube and remix it and mash it and feel creative in a way that they never could have before. But when you become, um, if you run a film studio or if you're going to make money off of it or all these things, you, you, know, you have to be respectful of the artist that created it in the first place. So I am of two minds about that. My name is Tiffany Schlein and please subscribe to Thinker.